Hold me. Pull me down. Come on. I posture. I lean back. Yeah, make that guy work. Hand fight. Learn how to hand fight. Come on, man. Come on. Get this. Yeah, make you work. Pelvis is forward. Pull some of the guy. Hand fight. Knee in the butt. Oh, the guard open. What am I going to do? I'm going to push my push the leg down back a little bit, and I'm ready to go. Double leg pass right around the knees. Shoulder goes in. Running into him. He's trying to shrimp. Shove the legs. Once I shove the legs, transfer the left arm. Get to the neck. Run the hips over. Killing the hips. Pulse against them. Back that butt up. Get underneath the arm if you can. Get your control. I got side control, baby. <laughs> What happened? And <clears throat> two nights ago, middle of the night, dogs are barking. Raccoon got underneath my motorhome. Dogs tried to do me a solid and dig out the motorhome, get the <laughs> raccoon for me. And there were some wires and hydraulic hoses and harness in the way, and they moved it out of the way for me to get the raccoon. And then I got under the motorhome the next day and with a flashlight, and I was noticing, okay, the electrical's bad. They got a hydraulic line. I get there and I see a rib cage breathing just past my head. It's the biggest raccoon you've ever seen in your freaking life. It's still under the motorhome. And Geico <clears throat> Comprehensive Insurance doesn't cover animals. And a, and a raccoon is a rodent. So I'm up <laughs> the creek without a paddle. So what did you do with Rocky? I went out there with my 45 and a hose. It's fair is fair. You took care of business. Yeah, I couldn't get it out. Right. I was going to shoot into the motor. So I won. So I won. All right. <laughs> What's up, guys? Teach me grappling. We'll see you later. All right, guys. What did we do tonight? I've got Jeff here. What's up, Jeff? What's up, coach? All right. We're going to show you guys a guard pass. Very basic guard pass. We had a lot of uh, new guys in tonight. So I was giving them something that they can do. And I think it would be good for you guys to learn it as well. Let's come over here. All right. Lay on your back, Jeff. Okay. Just got the close guard. Ultra basic, guys. Look at my knees. Okay. My knees, I'm not super wide. I close my knees slightly around his butt. Very so slight, ever so slightly. Then what I do is I create posture. So if I'm here and the guy's grabbing my head, you guys have to create posture. Okay. So one of my favorite ways to break the, the arm off the head is not to always go inside and push it off. That, that seems to work good, but, but sometimes the guy's a beast. You know, like, like Jeff here, you know? Jeff, you're like a monster. Yeah. You can hold up tight, and I'm like, ah! So look at real simple, guys. Look, I take my thumb, I put it on this side, with my elbow in, by the way, so my elbow is monitoring his thigh. I make sure I don't make mistakes and get triangled in the middle of this. Yeah, I, I don't know what he's gonna do, so. My elbow's monitoring his thigh. I grab right here and I push it off. Were you holding me tight? Yeah, Come yeah, on, yeah. bro. Hold me tight, hold me tight, yeah. And I push it right off. Once I push it off, you guys can go two on one if you like. I like the two on one a lot. I'll go two on one for a little bit. If he pulls his arm forward and makes me lose my balance, that's not good. So if he does that, I'll let it go. Now, I'm gonna bring my pelvis forward and I'm gonna kind of posture up. If you notice in the back, I don't like to put my, my insteps on the floor, okay? I don't like to do this. I like to have active toes and push with my toes. So now that I'm here, I go pelvis forward. I just push my pelvis forward, and then when the guy's trying to pull me, he tries to pull me, my pelvis is forward, it's very hard for him to pull me. If he pulls my arm, like he gets a simple arm like this, or arm drag, obviously I'm gonna be trying to free it. It's a lot of hand fighting that you're gonna have to do. But the simple, just go baseball bat and like hold it. Yeah, try to pull it. See, as he's pulling, I gotta like lean back and that way he can pull. You can pull yourself all the way to me, but now you, no, no, continue. Continue, continue, continue. No, 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 you don't understand. Yeah. Use your abdominals yeah. and pull yourself all the way up to me. Yeah, keep coming, you can come. Okay, yeah. now, look, he's come all the way up. I, he's working very hard. 
I don't let him hold me. I'll push him back down, and I want him to burn himself. Okay, continue. It's working. Yeah. <laughs> it's already working. Can, yeah? Can you get to my head? Yeah. Get to, look, it's right there. No? <laughs> okay, come on. It's right there. No? Through this fight, it's good for you to wear your opponent out. So don't be afraid to hand fight for a while. Hand fight and keep working. Then I'm going to do one of the most simplest things. I'm going to pulse on his stomach and I'm going to put my knee in his butt. Now, come to the backside. Um, okay, so he has a guard. I'm just lifting your guard up for you. Okay, don't put your knee. I know we have black against black. Don't put your knee in the middle of the tailbone. Don't put it in the middle of the tailbone. All I do is I just put it in his butt cheek, right there. I put it in his butt cheek as I push against his stomach. And then for simplicity, go ahead and come around. You can go up either direction. I take this knee and I just spread it out. Now your guard's already crap. You're already yeah. lost. Okay, now I know I didn't get the best guard player in the world, so guys, keep in mind, if you have a really good guard player in your gym, this is not gonna work unless you really wear him out. And if size is a, is a factor, it's not gonna work too well. But it's a good basic way to start jujitsu and learn how to open the guard. You're just not gonna open the best guy's guards. So I spread my knee, I have a little angle, I turn my body sideways and I push on his knee. I don't use my elbow, okay? I prefer not to use the elbow, I'm much, much against this style. Um, it's not wrong, and you can make it work, but a lot of times guys will push your wrist and he'll triangle me, boom. And you'll fall into triangles. So, to keep you out of triangles and to keep your posture, all I do is I just, I have my elbow in right here, push here. Sometimes there's a little gap that's created. That's okay, it happens. You gotta float, it's a moving position. Nothing's set in stone where you go, it's got to be like this all the time. It's not like that. Okay, so I'm in the Coast Guard. I postured up. We played this game for a while. We're hand fought. Once I'm ready, I go knee in the butt and I turn. See how real simple. Knee in the butt and I turn and I spread it. If that's enough to open up the guy's guard, then, then it's enough. Once I do this and I start pushing and I break, notice I have full posture as I'm breaking right here. The other part of breaking the guard is how my butt moves. So my butt, when I push, my butt goes back. So my butt goes back, and I can feel right now, uh, if come around, if come around the back side, this part of his leg is against the side of my rib cage and my butt right here. So now stay that angle, hold me again. So see when I'm here, as I push, there's, there's a lot of pressure when I turn, that happens that this, see that ankle, it's like breaking his guard. And again, as I state this, I just wanna say, this is not gonna break the best guards in the world, guys. So this is very basic jujitsu. Now, once I'm here, I'm gonna give you guys a good guard pass that you can use. Come around here to the front. So once I open, okay, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pick my back leg up. As I do that, I'm gonna step over his leg, but I'm gonna create distance. I'm gonna move away from him because I don't want to get trapped in a deep half guard. And uh, let me say that again. In a half guard that is strong. When I said deep, I don't mean the deep half guard. I mean like a, a half guard where he's strong and he has good grip. So once I go here, I'm just gonna step back and I'm gonna bring my body back, okay? This is probably gonna invite a lot of times to him for, to trap the half guard like this. And then it's also, you see the distance that we have to his butt. I don't want to be here because if I'm like this, this leg can bite and then he can play a uh, locked knee shield like this or he can play any other style of guard, but he has my leg really good. So I want my leg back. So even if his leg is in, keep in mind, I would love even more to staple his ankle like that. But if I can't do this and he gets the half guard, I still have a distance. And then with this distance, I lower my level like this. And then as the guy starts to move up, you're, my chest, he, right now he's playing kind of like a knee shield. This is very popular. I lower my chest to like lower it. As he starts to transition, yeah, like that, I'm, I'm just putting pressure. You see, you still have a knee, like I can't come forward, but I don't want to come forward. I want to bring the level down, start to play guard or anything. 
And now I just bring my arms around his legs for what I call the simple double leg pass, okay? Some people asked me last night about the body lock pass. This is like a body lock pass, but I'm body locking the legs, right? I'm double leg pass. So you just basically scoop up both legs. If his knees are super wide, you can't do a double leg pass. You can probably go into an over under pass, but you can't do the double leg pass. So if I was here like this, let's say I started to guide his legs, he would want to swing your legs back in towards me. Yeah, I keep going and recover the guard. Recover the guard. Yeah, recover. But you see, I'm still at this distance. So he can't like put me in the close guard. So even if he was to like come forward and try to grab me and sit up, see, I like go right into the double leg pass. Okay, so if the guy starts to sit up, I want to snatch that double leg pass. Here, I'm in the guard. I just opened it. Okay, some people like the leg weave pass. See, leg weave pass. Instead of the leg weave pass, as I step over, I'm just gonna gather both legs here. And then now, once you lock the double leg pass, I'm gonna shift my weight and pop my head to the far side and put my shoulder in his gut. If he still has a half guard, you just sprawl, okay? If you're too high, you won't be able to sprawl. No, no, no. If you're too high like this, you can't sprawl. So you gotta get yourself down. You gotta sprawl back that way. Now once I sprawl, <clears throat> shoulder is in his gut, and now I'm off my knees. I have toes in the mat, so walk around here, I'm around the round. And then, now you see how I'm like pushing here? He's trying to push against me and shrimp out. Uh, he would love to hit the seat, get on the right side. And then get his knees to come through, keep going. And get his knees to come through. That's what he would love to do. So don't allow him to do that. Control his legs. Put your shoulder in his gut. Keep the legs tight. Pinch your elbows. See? As I'm doing this, I'm smashing him. He keeps trying to stay on his side. And he's using his feet on the mat. The feet on the mat are frustrating. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to do what's called shelve the legs. So keep pushing. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. With your feet too. Come on, I want to see some fight. There you go. I'm gonna lift the legs and put them up on top of the shelf. Okay, so you're gonna get the right moment, the right time to lift them and put them up on top of the shelf. Once you shelve the legs, you're doing a pretty good job. I'm gonna stand up and get it real good. You see how I positioned my feet? Look at how my left leg is more or less straight. And then now once I'm here, I have a good hold of his legs. If he's still trying to push you, He's basically bench pressing. Just walk around, Carl, so you can see. Keep pushing. He can't move. Try to create space. All I'm doing is just lifting him up and smashing him. Next, when you want to transfer your left arm, you want to get your left arm up to his neck. That's what we want. Okay, so if he's blocking my arm right here, it can be hard, like, to change. So what I want to do is, I can do some temporary shelving holds. So one of them, watch my right hand, is to put it like this. I bring it around the back of my own knee. This is a great like temporary hold. See that? I go like this. So if he tries to use his legs now, his legs are still wrapped up, and now I have a free arm. Don't get more. Don't do this, right? So when I bring my elbow, I want to bring it in between and come to his neck. As I do that, I'm going to drive myself up towards the head, collect the head. Once you guys collect the head, I really want to smash the hips. I want to fold those legs over and smash them that way. Now we get the bonus, the elbow out. Always, every video I ever teach, keep your right elbow into your body. No, into your, yeah. And now I just back my butt up, okay, like a real fine woman. And then now I get up here, okay? Now you guys can get your underhook and we're good to go. Good smash and we have his near elbow out, okay? Why did it take me, you know, an hour to teach one move? Okay, <coughs> let's go a little bit quicker. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Close guard, okay? Hold, they can always rewind it, look at all the details. We're gonna finish this baby. Let's do Wait. it. Hold me, pull me down. Come on. I posture, I lean back. Yeah, make that guy work. Hand fight, learn how to hand fight. Come on, man, come on, get this. Yeah, make your work. 
Pelvis is forward. Pull some, my guy. Hand fight, knee in the butt. Oh, the guard open. What am I gonna do? I'm gonna push my push the leg down back up a little bit, and I'm ready to go. Double leg pass right around the knees. Shoulder goes in, running into him. He's trying to shrimp. Shove the legs. Once I shove the legs, transfer the left arm, get to the neck, run the hips over, killing the hips. Pulse against them, back that butt up. Get underneath the arm if you can. Get your control. I got side control, baby. <laughs> All right. Do you want to try it once? Yeah. All right. So we're here. Mm -hmm. Close guard, okay? Yeah. Come on. I'm going to sit up. Stay back, pelvis up, hips up. Hips up, yeah. Close the knees a little bit. And, and go here. Now, up. Yes, now look. You see, what, yeah, you see what you're making me do now? Yeah, making you go further. Uh, I try to pull, you're not giving me anything. Good, that was good. You don't, don't bring up here. Here, here, not here. Okay. Okay, I don't want you to leave anything like this. Okay. Okay, go here. You push it down, slight retreat. I'm trying to come up, double leg pass. Don't let me have half guard. Back up slightly, double leg pass. Good, guys, here I can't get you in a guillotine. Good. Now that I'm pushing, you shove the legs really good. Remember, he transferred, he got to the neck. Remember, walk to the right and kill the hips. Yes. Got the mirror elbow out. Now you got it going on. Oh, what are you gonna do now, baby? Let me see it. Yeah, and then? On bar. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Oh, you got a little X break? You got a little X break coming up? All the way through that loop. Put that foot through a little bit deeper. There you go. Deadlift Ooh. to the, yeah. to the sub. Yeah, the Subway sandwich. All right. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed. I know it's a five hour video. <laughs> Leave a comment in the comment section, guys, if you like this. If you don't like it, just let me know too. I love the hate mail too. <laughs> just kidding. I get lots of positives. So thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. If you like this video, please click the link down below in Pat at, for Patreon or PayPal. You can contribute to this channel. You can donate $1, $2, whatever you guys like. Some people even donate $25. It's up to you. So thank you so much. And uh, I did a live chat last night. It was fun. Uh, I was tired as hell. But uh, thank you guys for uh, giving me so much positive feedback. I'll see you guys next time with more great stuff.